So I have something a little different. And I'm going to ask you guys for some help. Because I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something that probably happens all the time. But I can't think of specific instances where it's happening enough that I could go right to it in all the uh, archive of videos that I have saved or audio. So if you guys know of any more of these, please bring them to my attention. What we're going to talk about is coincidences or I should say motivated sitters. I talk about motivated sitters mm, quite a bit in some of the videos I do because the sitter is just as important to the success of a reading as the medium. I don't think that's really something we think about too much, but the sitter is motivated to have a good reading. They've waited in turn, sometimes waited for months or years, depending on the celebrity psychic you're seeing. Uh, they've paid money, whereas it could be $20 to thousands of dollars, whatever amount of money it is, it's still money. And so a person who is getting a reading is motivated to get the best reading possible. In some cases you see, well, okay. In almost every case, even if the medium says, oh no, don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. Just say yes or no. Almost every case you will see or hear the sitter offering um, to tell more of the story to to kind of latch on to whatever the medium is saying and and try to and try to hang on, hang on for all they can, especially in a group setting where you have not paid for an individual time with that medium, where a medium is going through and they're using the law, the law of large numbers where they're, you know, picking this person over here in this area or that person over there in that area. Um the sitter knows or the audience knows that that if they get called on to do a reading they better help they better be um, um gracious and make make um you know consideration so like if the psychic is not quite right oh that's okay you know it's not an exact science and so maybe they're not really as um not really having to have um the reading go as well as it sh you could because you know we're talking to the dead after all at least that's what they're thinking so a motivated sitter or coincidences are what i'm looking for so i'm going to show you one now, I'm researching this one psychic medium. Her name is Lauren Robbins, and this is suggested to me by um, one of the subscribers to this channel um, who has been following this person for a very long time. I guess it's his local psychic. So I said, all right, I'll, I'll check her out. She's not exactly a celebrity um, psychic, but let's see what, what's going on with her. And um, he assures me that cats aren't they great he assures me that this woman is a celebrity in her own mind in the area where he lives so this isn't really about her right now but i'm going to use an example from one of her sittings because i thought oh wow so bear bear that in mind let's listen to this okay grasped his attention somewhere else or something like that and i also feel like was it windy really really windy do you know at the time I don't know. okay he's saying there's something about windy or something like on the windshield or wind windy or windshield like i feel like there was something you with windshield what? or windy like that got stuck on the windshield or threw off his vision because he's like a, he drove fast correct but he was a careful driver yeah um but windy my parents lived on it a road called Windy Lane, which was not far from where he lived. Oh, really? Where, oh my where God! He from yeah. Oh yeah, wow! Because it, it was within two miles of Windy Lane. Oh my God! 
So this is definitely your brother. He's like doing more validations. Yeah. Like he's saying, Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. So, but I feel like yeah. also there was something on the windshield too, but I didn't know if it was well, Wendy that day. Out of the car. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a really exciting example of a psychic. Well, many things are happening there. The sitter is extremely motivated to find relevance. You know, we're pattern-seeking animals, human beings. So we're doing our best to make a pattern, to make it fit. And so um, this sitter has found a connection beyond the connection that was there, which was that... Um, I guess they had the sitter had said something about the car there being a car accident, and I um, I think I'm going to go into more detail with this video later. But the medium is trying to make it sound like it was an accident. The wind was blowing, and the sitter is like, "Wait a minute, this all makes sense to me now." My parents lived on Windy Lane. Amazing, right? Amazing connection. <clears throat> so sometimes it's a coincidence. Sometimes a coincidence is just a coincidence. But in this case, it wasn't so much a coincidence. It was just the, the sitter is motivated to try to, to, to latch on to the reading and make it into something more. And you saw how the medium recovers. That was awkward <laughs> she kind of stumbles through she's as surprised as anybody but her her initial reaction is oh wow and then she says that's evidence that your brother's coming through what is <laughs> what was evidence that she was mentioned the word windy she didn't say this is the street your parents lived on is Windy Lane and it was near the accident site. No, she doesn't say that. But I bet, I bet if you were to talk to that sitter, uh, you know, after the fact, and you said, how did your reading go with Lauren Robbins? How did your reading go? The sitter is going to say it was fantastic. Not only did she, was she in contact with my brother who died in a car accident? But she knew what street my parents live on, Windy Lane. She also knew it was really close to the accident site. I bet anything. That's how the, the sitter will remember it because they're motivated to remember it that way. That's why you always get a recording, audio or video of whatever reading you're doing and you transcribe it because you really need to look at those words. Um, if you put it up on YouTube, there it'll automatically transcribe it for you. You just have to hit a setting and, and it'll give you the transcription with all the, the times that the words occur in the video. And you can copy that, put it into a Word document or whatever, and just and look at the words because that's really important to be able to see what is said, how it's said. Are they interrupting each other? Are, are um, how that how that whole thing worked? Because it is clever wordplay, in most cases with a psychic reading. So just thinking that you're going to take some notes, no, that's not good enough. Because you're hearing, you're writing down what you're you're summing it up, and you're hearing what you think you hear. It's not necessarily a good um, example, and you certainly can't go in and say, oh, I'll just remember. No, you won't. You won't remember. You'll remember it the way you want it to be repeated back. Like, oh, that was just the worst reading ever. They didn't get anything right. Or, oh, there were so many things in there that I couldn't possibly have, you know, he, he had to, he had to be in contact with my brother. There's no way. Anyway, so this is just one example. I hope to find more of these. But like I said, I haven't really been thinking about it in this way before. So 
I've probably run across lots of these and I, I, I my mind isn't finding them right now because I didn't take notes. No, <laughs> but if you have any of these, if you run across them, please send them over to me. You can send them to Susan Gerbeck at gmail.com or whatever. And I, I'd be happy to take a look at them. I'm really interested. So if you're interested in this kind of um, uh, videos that I'm doing that are in depth, explaining the tricks of um, the mediums or the non-tricks of the sitter or whatever, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I, I really love to see your comments. They keep me wanting to do these videos. Um, they make it, make it much more interesting and makes me encouraged in a lot of ways because, you know, I'm getting a lot of flack in some ways. And I'm trying to just let it off my back. So it's nice to hear comments where people have obviously listened to the whole video. So like and subscribe. Hit the little bell that goes ding. And um, check out my other videos on this channel. Thanks, you guys.